welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. I am joined, as always, by our tutorial squad of Xion and Cosmos. When we last left off, we were fighting a whole bunch of shit inside Cosmos's brain. They decided to switch all this to something called Gnosis. Uh, we don't know what that is just yet, but let's go find out by continuing on. We are still technically in the tutorial of the game. This is a long tutorial, but the items that we get here will carry over, so we're gonna try to get every item. We still have quite a bit that we have still to explore, if I can get my controls right. And we can blow this up, and there was an enemy in there. Do you really think this is a good idea? I don't really have a choice now, do I, Shion? Okay, so these are Gnosis. Gnosi. Gnosis is whatever. This is what they are. Um, they're weird, I guess you could say alien looking things. Uh, we don't really have an explanation for what they are, nor will we for some time. Remember correctly, they do have a beam attack. Beam is an element in this game, if you want to think about it that way. Uh, it's it, it, it does damage based on beam as opposed to something else. These guys are mostly weak to physical attacks. Well, they are weaker to physical attacks than they are to uh, ether attacks. So I'm going to pretty much stick with physical attacks as much as I can. And then hopefully I can kill them with the points plus up uh, so that I can try to get at least a little bit of attack points. If you want to grind, uh, you would want to grind primarily before these guys showed up. But really, I might as well not do her full attack. Okay, uh, yeah, you're going to attack that one. She's going to get a boost. That way you can get the points up on, on the other one and kill it. I should be fine. So then let's, let's stop after you. You can kill this one. Like, don't miss. You can miss in this game. Tell me that was enough. Thank you. Points times four. Very nice. I will take it. Beam. She's going to need to heal eventually, I think. Uh, why, why didn't Cosmos get her turn? Damn it. But yeah, if I try to use Ether, you can see it does a little bit less. Spin kick does pretty damn well, though. And... Are you kidding me? Alright. Shion, you get to kill something yet again. So that we can get the points up. Yes, you... Like, it, it is that important, even this early in the game. It's good practice, at least. You want to try to get the points up as much as you can. Yes, you did, in your disappearing weapon. In that giant orange thing. So you can see we got seven points each. Um, I think we get... Well, yeah, you would get one tech point and one ether point for each one of those things. So then we got a times four and a times two for seven total. Level up across the board. Um, primarily, you would want to get to... Thanks, Alan. Items aren't, only anything, aren't the only things in those containers. But that does mean that there are items in there. Uh, level 5 is pretty much where you would normally want to go if you were going to level grind in this area. Level 5 would be, would be pretty good. Let's go ahead and blow this up. And now we have access to this door here. This is segment address number 10. Now, we can't really do anything with this just yet, but it is good to keep in mind for now. These are the optional doors that I spoke of. We will require a key to get in those, and we don't have a key, especially, and it's got to be a special key, key number 10. Uh, not all of the segment doors, if I remember correctly, need a key. I think there are a couple that either are open, unlocked, or that you'll have the key first before you get the before you get to the door. Uh, either way, we can't get into that place just yet. We need a key. So, let's grab this. Yes, that. Thank you. Mission key obtained. Very, very nice. Now I can unlock the door. Yes, you can. And there is a Gnosis on the other side. Lock has been removed. I think I alarmed him. So let's open the door and... 
um, yeah, fight him. I don't really have a choice. He's just hanging out by the door because I blew that thing up. Or else. Airborne enemies. You can't get in close range combat with them because they're airborne enemies. Makes perfect sense to me. Let's see if we can kill it with ether attacks though. Oh, looks like we can. I will take the kill. Down you go, drone G2. Oh, and this guy's gonna die too, I bet. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the difference there. Oh man, Cosmos kicks so much ass compared to Shion. Clear. Yeah, I will need to heal Shion eventually. I think I can only go through one more battle. Nice. Five, ten. Uh, I'm still saving my tech points for uh, something that they will explain later. Like I said, we're still in pretty much a giant tutorial here. Uh, so once the tutorial is over, we'll we'll get more information on how this all works. I think we have encountered this enemy before. Okay, used Medica a couple times to heal everybody back up, and now we can open up this door by entering the mission key there. That turns red to blue, which means we are ready to move on into here. Oh, it looks like it's going to be important. It is important. There is a box. What are we gonna do with the box? Can I break it? No, it is a cutscene box. Or something? It's gotta be a cutscene. We didn't like leave the room or anything. Here we go. So I don't get what's in the box? No, I get a giant Gnosis enemy instead. The hell? What's going on? That's my question. A brand new network is being created within the Cosmos mainframe. We've never had a reaction like this before. This is incredible. I've never seen a net grow so fast. So is that Look at it, sir. The portions is it of the encephalon good? map are evolving. Is that bad? Give me an answer. What? It's like the world. Alan, I'm going to engage the target. Make sure you capture all the data. What? what? You cannot engage right now. You're tapped into Cosmos perception. It's too unstable. Yeah, the world was shaking. Don't worry. We can pull it off. What do you mean, don't worry, Chief? Oh, we're gonna go in for the kill here. Of course we are. We don't have a choice. Oh. Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. Well, we do, but we're not going to use the choice. Okay, so. This is Drone GX. I guess some people have trouble with him. <laughs> he does have a, a lot of HP, but he's got one real big weakness. So let's try to exploit that weakness. His weakness is not Lashino. So I'm just going to do that and end. Oh, he is he is weak to, to physical attacks, definitely. So do that and end. He's weak to Cosmos. Like just at, in general, weak to Cosmos. So we're going to go for physical attacks. We're going to see Lightning Blast again, even though Spell Ray is by far the more effective spell overall. Lightning Blast is going to be more effective against this guy. As you can see, it did not do much, though. Uh, this guy is weak to Blade attacks. I know of one. Our Blade. This could actually kill him. If I get a critical again? I don't want to kill him just yet. It did. No, it didn't. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so now we can guard, and I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until somebody can get points. That's that's the idea here. Uh, we're just gonna wait around until somebody can get a point up, uh, hoping because it's gonna die no matter who I use, I believe. Especially since I will be using a uh, a tech attack. So we're just gonna guard. Shion it is. 39 points. You think you can pull it off? Lightning Blast. Every time you hit him when he has active guard, he will get a counter boost. That's what that looks like. But we should be able to finish him off. Ah, oh, crap. A revenge combo. We didn't kill him. It missed anyway. Well, the first one missed. He can do about 100 damage to you. Um if you're not careful. So now I, I do have to wait. He's got four HP left. That's ridiculous. I want the points though. 
like, seriously, I'm getting those points. Shion's gonna give me those points. You ready? Go knuckle. Death by knuckle. And then he goes, points times two. Not exactly what I wanted. Uh, Miyuki's inventions, you say. Uh, not exactly what I wanted, but hey, when when it's this early in the game, I will take what I can get. So I do have 104 tech points. That that's pretty good. I'm I'm waiting for 150 to be honest with you, but we'll we'll keep going as is. Uh, getting those points, like I said, it's important. Y you want to if you can. So far, so good. Shift target to real mode. We'll test the Hilbert effect. What do you mean? What? Chief, you're supposed to follow the program. What the hell is Cosmos, that? Cosmos, activate Hilbert. Roger. Activating Hilbert effect. The hell is the Hilbert effect? Doesn't look like it's I knew good. This would happen. Status. This is bad. Something's wrong in the encephalon. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. What? What about the chief? Just a little longer. Chief! Nerve impulse is in the limbic system. We've got Kinley. The hell's Kinley? That's enough! Shut it down! Pull her out of there now! Roger. Entering shutdown command. It's been rejected. The Chief's overriding us. We can't control it from here. What? Ten <laughs> seconds to encephalon collapse. Sir! Damn it! Don't let me die. I was getting used to her. And her short-ass skirt. The hell is going on with the freaking gnosis? The hell is a gnosis? The world is destroying around us. You should probably get out of there, Shion. What the hell? Is that a little girl? With red hair and blue eyes. Now Shion's got green eyes. It's not, it's not a little Shion. I don't know who that is. She! Damn. Alan is awesome. Probably saved Shion's life there. I don't she? Know what was gonna happen? Are you all right? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Did I push my luck a little too far this time? Huh. Uh, uh, yes. Alan? You can't keep doing this, Chief. Give him a stomachache. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. That's usually the... Sorry whatever. about that, but I bet the data's really good. Is that really worth it? Besides... Now, who was that? Huh? Was there something else? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Well, we better get started on that data. Today's our deadline, so I'm sure they'll be asking for it soon. Wait, what? Attention, please. We are scheduled to gate out in approximately three minutes. Gate out? All hands, please return to your designated areas immediately. Once again, attention, please. We are scheduled to gate out. So, we wait until the last day, until the report was due, to run the test? How much time are you giving your team to compile the game? Uh... The hell is going on here? Is this gating out? Oh, they're like, decreasing from warp speed or... Or what have you? That's what I'm... Well, that is a lot of ships. I don't know how menacing they look, but those things look huge to me. I don't know how many weapons they would have on board. I assume more than one. Oh, here's a different one. Oh, wait. Does that have the symbol on it? That, that symbol looks very familiar to me. It looks like something that... Ah, Vector! The company that Xion works for. So they own the ship? Okay. Was this the ship that... Was that the same ship that put the, the, the giant yellow thing in it? I still don't have a name for that. 
I think they actually give us a name rather quickly, but for now we don't have a name. Nor do we know what's up with that little girl. She looked very familiar to me, though. All ships, gate out complete. Shifting main engine to stealth mode. Maintaining current speed until sector withdrawal. That is a lot of people to run the ship. from current space set at absolute time, 1300 on the 22nd. Seven hours, 16 minutes, and 30 seconds to withdraw. Next UMN column in seven hours, 36 minutes. UMN All column. All gate jumps from other sectors will remain offline until then. Wait, we can't go back up to warp speed? Don't know. Port! <laughs> Steer to port! Oh, I guess we're fine. Wouldn't gravity take in? Or is the exit, velo the, the exit velocity too high on that asteroid? I assume it would curve towards the ship. It's big enough. So, we're almost home. Yes, sir. Our final gate jump is at the next column. We're almost there. Huh. So you can't... This far, we'll be fine. The odds of contact between columns is statistically low. Besides, this asteroid field we're in is perfect for hiding the fleet from them. Them? Who's them? Huh. So Pollyanna thinks those asteroids are going to protect us. No need to be condescending. I, I'm sorry, sir. A bit testy today, aren't we, Commander? No, I'm not sure I like this guy. Is something wrong? No. Of course not. No. Ever since we picked up that object ten days ago, everyone's been a bit jumpy. That was ten days ago? We still have a ways to go before we hit comm space. That's I can empathize space. with the Commander. Mm. Uh, Captain, can you... Uh, debrief us on the current situation? That'd be greatly appreciated. Our original orders from the Galaxy Federation were to investigate the vanished planet and assist the researchers. But ever since we picked up that object, it feels like everything's changed. No. What exactly is that thing anyway? Give me a name. Who knows? Damn it. I haven't heard a thing from the research team. But, as I mentioned before, Apparently, they're after the object, too. Who? That's unofficial info, of course. What about the rumor regarding the casualties during the retrieval process? I saw a guy get absorbed. Even if it were true, that's none of our business. Oh, you know nothing. The research team has their own orders to deal with. The only explicit instructions we've received state that should any salvageable objects exist in the area, their retrieval takes top priority. What? Top priority? What does that mean? What it means is, over our very lives. Well, that's blunt. I don't like the sound of that at all. Now, now, no need to scare them. Seriously, dude. Those orders merely reflect the importance of this operation to the Galaxy Federation government, that's all. Just stay sharp and be careful. That makes sense, sir. The entire fleet was renovated for this mission. Besides, if there's an emergency, we've got the trump card to fall back on. Trump card? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, speaking of which, What's the latest on that situation? What Trump card? We're scheduled to turn in the A7 reports today. Wait. A7, eh? Only one step away from fully operational. You mean Coastwells? But time, I suppose. Lieutenant, please ask Chief Uzuki to come to the bridge once her data's ready. Yeah, Cosmos. Ask her to bring all the previous data as well. Yes, sir. Cosmos is the Trump? The Trump for what? What Trump card? Yeah. Was he referring to that battle android? That's right. You didn't know? Wow, so it's true. Hey, I heard that project's really behind schedule. You can't blame them. There were casualties during their last boot up test two years ago. Wait, what? They're being more careful this time. It's hard to believe they're making an android in this day and age. The only place I've ever seen them is in old space novels. Androids are passe? Well, trump card or not, it's still an experiment. And it ain't like one android's gonna make that much of a difference. Have you seen Cosmos? The whole project's just a chance for those vector guys to show off. Someone's outdated hobby, that's all. I heard that even their commercial models differ greatly between those that have seen action and those that haven't. What does that even mean? They say ignorance is bliss. Looks like they were right. Commander? I'm just envious, that's all. What? So once again, in quintessential Xeno format, I guess you could say between Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga, we just got 
a cutscene in which a lot of information was was thrown out there, a little of which you understand. Sure. I'll be there in 30 minutes. Unless, of course, you played the game and know what they're talking about. 